Pixelmator uses the latest technology example, the Mac Pro 2013 model with dual graphic cards and uh, full cores and it works really well with uh, that version and uh, even so much so that we're on uh, uh, third party app of the year and inclusion into the uh, Mac Pro advertising and just giving an idea here is a uh, free open source GIMP and as you can see it's um, not fully optimized and the letterings really lagging back just trying to drag it across the screen Okay, we're going to show one use of the pixel meter. Uh, we're going to make a custom thumbnail that I'm going to use on YouTube for uh, one of my videos, uh, which is an interview. We're going to go ahead and make a new layer, and we simply add new layers uh, on top of each other. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and select the shape tool for the, uh, the square. And uh, we're going to do it on the left side uh, up to a point. Uh, thanks to Bruce Naylor from the Frugal Tech, I borrowed that uh, idea. So go visit his YouTube website. Uh, just like so. Uh, for some reason, I'm making another layer. I can't remember during that time. But after that, we're going to go to the paint bucket. And we're going to select blue, uh, fill that in. And that's where we're going we're gonna to put the text uh, here in a minute. We're going to select a new layer for the text and I usually like to use contrasting colors white or yellow and a darker background and uh, we're just going to type in their interview in uh, large letters as you can see it kind of started a new line so we're going to um, make the letters smaller for now we're going to enlarge them later and then we're going to go and rotate that 90 degrees to the right to uh, go right over the blue box that we just made. Uh, we're going to increase the box just in case it tries to do the same thing again. And then we're going to select the whole thing and then we're going to increase the size to uh, fit the box all the all the way just like so. Click on it and it should go back to 90 degrees and the size is about where I want it. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a black outline around the yellow lettering to make it stand out. So we're going to do a left click command. It's going to outline it. We're going to take that outline and um, select about three pixels larger uh, than the lettering. Just like so. We're going to go back uh, to well select the uh, other layer that we made earlier first then we're going to select the uh, paint bucket again and we're going to choose black instead of blue we're going to have a black line outline around the yellow lettering we simply touch that to the uh, uh, around there and it fills it in uh, the black border and I'm just going to click it on and off just to show you that the black border is uh, three pixels larger than the yellow lettering. So it makes the contrast a lot better, uh, just like so. And we also sometimes put in ye yellow lettering describing the topic on the right. But we're actually just going to go ahead and finish this up. We're going to export this. Now we're going to have to export to JPEG because um, YouTube doesn't like PNG for its thumbnails. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save that. We're going to rename it um, uh, different because it's going to try to overwrite the original screenshot just like so. And then we're going to show you the uh, finished product by selecting it. There we go. There's a finished thumbnail ready to upload to YouTube.